Hello everybody, my name is Jacob. Thank you for checking out Xsanity and welcome back to another hot sauce video. Never mind the otherworldly noise of the dryer in the background. That is just something that we're going to be dealing with today. So, a lot of... <laughs> oh man, these are classic. Classic. Alright, so... Not a lot of a uh, not a lot of preamble today with this one. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Um, I've got everything ready: Dino Nuggies, chips, sauce, and uh, stepping up in the world a little bit. Rather than just trying to, you know, drink it out of the cap, we have with us here today. It's upside down. Our spoon for to try the sauce. And uh, I'm not going to be filling up this whole, maybe I will because I'm not a little bitch, but today's sauce is another one from Fresh Finds, one that you've already seen, Ghost Pepper Hot Sauce. Now, this one just says that it's hot. There's another one, Scorpion Pepper Hot Sauce, that says blazing, and then the Mango Habanero one was... Um, mild I think it was labeled um, so I don't think this one's going to be I don't think it's gonna be bad right like I don't think it's gonna be bad but I don't think that the point of this one Jesus something in my eye I'm sorry is to be like tasty or delicious I think the point of this one is to just hurt you so that is gonna be fun. Ingredients: Naga, Jolica, chili pa pa paper, chili pepper, followed by water, followed by carrot. I assume for the color. Onion, salt, lime, acidic and citric acids, acidity regulators, garlic, xanthan gum, the thickener. Zero calories per serving. 125 milligrams of sodium per serving. Gluten-free, non-GMO, no preservatives. Made in Costa Rica. Well, all right. I don't have much to say about this one other than I think it's going to hurt me. So let's. That doesn't smell fun. Only cost my parents a dollar fifty to harm their son. Could have done it for free. All right, a couple drops on there. Got our sauce. I guess the camera's over here, isn't it? But, uh. Okie dokie. Here we go. First things first. We try the sauce on its own merits, as always. Ghost pepper sauce. It's the best way to do this. I want to eat it like, like off a normal spoon because I want it all over my lips. Hiccups are coming. I can feel it. That's it. There they are. Damn it. That's a spicy one. One. Ugh. You can always tell it's a spicy one. When the hiccups come on, just boom. Hard and strong. Oh, man. It's not bad, though. Not... As good as the uh, mango, or was it orange pineapple? Not as good as the orange pineapple. I think it was orange. Orange pineapple habanero one on its own. It's got a like a distinct like it. You eat it and you know it's hot sauce. Like it doesn't have any other flavor besides hot sauce flavor. It's like the. The uh, red hot sauces, you know, the red and green hot sauces that you can get on the table at most Mexican restaurants. Every Mexican restaurant I've ever been to, anyways. And uh, you get the red one, and, you know, it has a bit of a flavor, like you can taste whatever peppers and stuff are in it. But mostly it's just, that's hot sauce. It's got that flavor. And then it just, like, burns and hurts you. But not like the worst burn. That I've ever had like it, it hits you 
initially pretty quickly, right? And then, like, I think my hiccups are already gone, so that's usually an indicator of the heat has subsided. But, um, yeah, in small doses, like, if you use this for, like, cooking, I bet this would really, no pun intended, spice up some meals. Like, this isn't... So the other hot sauce is one that I would eat, just like to dip things in, right? This is one that I think I would use for, like, at, right now, just tasting the sauce by itself without anything else. This is one that I would use for cooking, if that makes sense. Because I feel like it would add a good amount of spice to a meal without having to use a whole bunch of actual spices. And maybe even bring out the flavors of whatever it is I'm cooking. All right, anyways, moving on. I just realized I'm doing this on an empty stomach. That's not good for me. I'm going to have to actually drink milk after this, which I rarely do. I only do it when my tummy's empty. I'm a fucking idiot. It's literally like the first thing I'm eating today. I, I woke up like a couple hours ago. It's like first thing in the morning. Anyways, so it's a thicker sauce, so it goes on a chip really well. So let's see how the chip enhances the sauce. Couldn't really taste the sauce at all on the chip. Mostly just uh, mostly just get the heat. But again, like the other sauce, the chip negates the heat a little bit. Like it's still there and way more prevalent um, than the orange pineapple. But it does negate it quite a bit. Not enough that I think if you didn't already like spicy things that this would be pleasant for you. But it does negate it a bit. I'll throw chips or a bitch tail. That's a bummer. <clears throat> Alright. So, so far, I'm going to give this sauce So I know that my ratings in these videos are completely arbitrary. Honestly, on flavor, I'm going to give the sauce I'm bouncing back and forth between 2.5 and, and 3 out of 5. I think I'm gonna go towards two and a half. For heat, I'll give it a four out of five. It's not the hottest thing I've ever had. With the chip, again, same as the sauce on its own. I think I'm just gonna give it a three out of five. I'm gonna give it two and a half. With the, it doesn't matter. With the chip, I'm gonna give it like a three out of five. So now let's jump into dinosaur nuggy territory. Let's see how it tastes. Get a good, good little bit on there. Again, not a lot of flavor, mostly just heat. Doesn't add anything to the nugget. If anything, it detracts. So with the nugget, it's on the two and a half out of five. So. So yeah, ghost pepper hot sauce from Fresh Finds, not one that I would eat to like dip things in or put on stuff. Ooh, got some spice with the chicken nugget. Not one that I would, again, dip things in, put on stuff. I would cook with this one though. This is a cooking sauce, for sure. Just add a little bit to uh, whatever you're making. Maybe you're making fajitas, you're mixing everything up, the peppers, the onions, whatever. Add a little bit in there, spice it up. That would be good. Ow, why is my tongue burning so much now? What the fuck? Also, these are like hot, like temperature hot. I think I burned my mouth. I, I honestly actually think I burned my mouth because I couldn't tell they were temperature hot because my tongue stings from the sauce. So that's, that's no good, that's a bit of an oversight. <laughs> but, 
Huh. So I think next time I'm gonna bring a notepad and write down what I'm what scores I'm giving the sauces. Well I think it was I think I gave it a 2.5 on my own, on its own. I don't remember. I'm leaning back towards a 2.5 by itself. Three with the chip, 2.5 with the nuggie. So overall, I think I would have to give this sauce a four and a half out of ten. Um, don't ask me how my uh, scoring system works. It is generally arbitrary, and it's just uh, I, it go, I base it off of like gut feeling. There's there's no math behind it, um, which is the best way to rate things, I believe. Just go with your gut, because your gut's where it's going. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that was Fresh Finds Ghost Pepper Hot Sauce. Disappointed, honestly, and now I'm really, really not looking forward to the Scorpion one. But maybe it will have a better flavor. There is always the possibility that it will have a better flavor. I guarantee it's going to be way hotter. It's going to suck harder. But it might have a better flavor. But again, if you like spicy things, you happen to be in Big Lots somewhere, you see this in the store, if it's next to the orange pineapple one, get the orange pineapple one if you're just looking for a good hot sauce to put on stuff. If you're looking for, man, I need to stress this. I wouldn't even put this on like a taco, you know, or, or uh, anything like that. Like this isn't something, once the food is cooked and finished and I'm just adding a sauce to it, I would not use this. This would detract from the meal. It would ruin it in my opinion. It's not like uh, Louisiana or Crystal Hot Sauce, my two, well, Crystal Hot Sauce is my number one, Louisiana is the backup. It's not like either of those where I can add those to like, you know, tacos, eggs, I put hot sauce on my eggs, um, whatever, I, and, and it enhance what I'm already eating and just tastes really good overall. This would not do that. No, you have to cook this into whatever you're making. So like if you add this to like, your fajita meat, your taco meat, and cook it into it, then it would probably, I, I, I'm fairly confident, I have a good gut feeling that it would it would be good in that regard. So if you're looking for a sauce, a spicy sauce to cook with, this would probably be a good one, good one for you. If you're looking for a good hot sauce to put on something and you're in big lots, go with the orange pineapple. Don't go with this one. Um, because that's just gonna ruin whatever you're cook, whatever you're eating. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, that is the end of this one. That's the end of Fresh Finds Ghost Pepper Hot Sauce from Big Lots. If you're not completely satisfied with the quality or freshness of your food purchase, we will refund 100% of the purchase price. Well, that's real neat. Um, so yeah, that was that. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Excuse me. If you like this video, please click like to let me know that you did. Uh, subscribe today if you're not already, but if you are already subscribed, make sure you ring the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. And let me know how you guys are feeling about these. Uh, they seem to be getting, you know, a couple more views than my videos normally do. And uh, definitely more likes than my videos normally do. And my wife says that this is the best content that I make which is nice and stings a bit in a way, but it's whatever. But yeah, <laughs> uh, leave me some feedback. Let me know what you guys really think. Um, I really like the more laid back, just like chill format of these, um, like the low effort feeling, and uh, they are fun to do. But uh, anyways, that's the end of this one. I'll see each and every one of you in whatever video comes next, so we didn't already say that. Goodbye.